hello everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything so last day we have worked on our admin site today we will create our student site edit page and for that we need to just go to first our okay first let's create another new file for our student site and inside the library folder inside student folder we will create our edit.php file then after saving this we will copy the code from the admin edit.php page and save it here sorry paste it here and then save this then let's go to the student profile page and then inside the button we will give the direction of our edit page so here inside the php we will write our code for if is set dollar underscore post and then our button name was submit one then inside second bracket we will write the code for our script tag and for that we need to close our php and open it again we will direct the link to our edit.php page window.location equal edit.php inside double quotation now you can see that there are some error inside this page because this is our student and we are using the code from our admin page so uh, the query is actually running on the admin table we need to change the name so let's go to our code from our student edit page and here everything is all right so first uh, let's go to our database and inside the student table you can see that there are the column name are almost same except for the role because this is actually different from the admin side admin don't have any role or student id so if you want to add it you can add another variable here for your student id or role and you need to add that inside the sql query too like we have added all the other variables everything is same and just change the table name from admin to student then after this all these uh, things are okay then inside the form then uh, you need to create another input if you want to show that value inside this form then after this let's go a bit up here inside the query again we need to change the student now you can see all the values are properly added inside the form now if we click on the save button we need to save these values or updated these values inside our table we will see if the contact number changes if we do this i give all them all of them zero okay we are getting a zero uh, but we have given more than one zero you can see in the structure the contact was integer type let's change this to our type from integer to character type now if we give more than one zero we will get the exactly same values inside this form here you can see all zero for uh, this part we need to just select one file from there and let's see if we can save this properly then the code will be all right okay the name is actually the picture name is saved so let's just see if the image is inside the student folder inside image here you can see the image is already copied so now let's just log out and log in again to see the change 
okay you can see the new image is here so everything is working properly we just need to change this part and you can see that uh, from any page where you have added that image you can see the change in every page in the side navigation and in the upper navigation too